So imagine you're the parents of a very sick child and you find a treatment, stumble upon it really, that helps your child significantly, but your doctor can't prescribe it and the federal government says it's illegal. That's how a lot of families discover CBD, which is an extract of the cannabis plant. We met a couple in Indiana with a two-year-old suffering from severe epilepsy. They gave her CBD. She improved almost immediately, and then the state threatened to take their daughter away. This video of Jayla Jerger at 14 months is tough to watch. <coughs> it's just one of the roughly 30 seizures she has a day. Every time she has a seizure, to me, it's like, watching part of her life slip away. You feel a little helpless in that moment. Helpless doesn't begin to describe it. The Jurgers say the drug their doctor prescribed didn't work. So they turned to the internet and found something called CBD oil, an extract from the cannabis plant. We were trying anything and everything we could to be able to treat her with the seizures. They came across the 2013 story of Charlotte Figgy, who suffered from severe epilepsy. <laughs> and went through a miracle transformation after taking CBD oil. <laughs> the Jurgers were hoping for their own miracle, and they got it. You ready? It worked. How fast? Like, within week? the first week. Their Colorado farm grows a form of cannabis with a high concentration of CBD and very little of the stuff that gets you high. These plants and their products are all legal in their state, one of many across the country that has changed their laws about marijuana and CBD. And researchers tell us those federal laws are making it difficult to study the benefits. Countless thousands of families collectively tell us that we should be paying a lot of attention to the potential therapeutic benefit of CBD. How much research still needs to be done on CBD? I think there is limitless potential in lots of different areas. It is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I did a tour in Iraq. This is harder. And we feel like we're fighting for our lives. The day after we met the Jurgers, the state of Indiana actually approved a new law for CBD, allowing them to give Jayla the drug. And now the FDA is on the cusp of approving a pharmaceutical, which would be a pure form of CBD. Oh, Back to wow. you. What an important story, though, yeah. Stephanie. Thank you for drawing our attention to it. Appreciate it.